Welcome everyone to a University of Michigan Society of Physics students presents Why Physics? To begin, let me read you a quote from the American Physical Society. Physics is crucial to understanding the world around us, the world inside us, and the world beyond us. It is the most basic and fundamental science. So going off that quote, physics is the most basic science, meaning that all other science, everything else in the STEM field is built around physics. It's the simplest level of understanding things and the most fundamental description of any aspect of our world. From uh, chemistry to oceanography, to astronomy, to biology and medical science, most professions that you go into, you could find some direct connection to physics and studying physics directly could lead you to many different places. And physics um, does not only teach you about the science and the fundamentals of the universe, but by studying physics, you actually um, learn much more versatile and generally applicable skills um, that you can carry on to a wide variety of endeavors. In particular, as a physics student, you'll learn strong analytical and problem solving skills, um, as well as good technical skills. And you'll likely also learn things like computer programming, which are super useful in a wide variety of applications, showing that your physics degree can really lead to a wide variety of different paths in life. Going off of what Anna said, physics is a highly employable major. Um, physicists really know how to tackle any sort of problem. And that really sets physics majors apart from other majors. And so employers like hiring physics majors in a wide variety of fields beyond physics, uh, such as law, finance, medicine, engineering, and more. And then something else really amazing about physics that you should take into consideration is that it provides financial security and financial stability. So you should definitely go into your future thinking about what you're passionate about and what you enjoy doing for a career. Um, but it's also important to think about whether or not you'll be financially stable. And with physics, you can absolutely have both. So as you go throughout your life and maybe you want to change your interests, as Grant and Anna were saying, physics is very applicable to many different jobs and you get that financial security along with all of them. And then we also just have some numbers up here to show you just how financially stable you can be. So there are a lot of different people that get this degree, as you can see by the total number of degrees awarded in 2017. And there's also a significant amount of people working in this area and the wage is extremely high, as you can see. And that's just the average, so you can go up from there. All right, so let's open the floor up to some current Society of Physics students undergrads as they discuss and talk about research, grad school, and beyond. Yeah, so I can just start off by saying that I, one of the things that I didn't think I would necessarily find in physics, but found is one of my favorite parts of my undergrad experience is just the community within the major. So throughout your classes, throughout clubs that you join, people are so warm and welcoming. There's also a lot of areas where you can find mentorship and people are just so open to helping you along. And then also there's a lot of collaboration. Um, so I think that's something that's really important in the field. Another important thing is the research opportunities. Yeah, so as an undergraduate, I have participated in research um, in astronomy and my physics educational background has given me the skills I need um, to learn new things about the solar system, mainly by writing code to analyze astronomical data. And this has been an extremely fulfilling part of my undergrad experience, um, helping me learn new things and apply what I've learned um, in a context outside the classroom. And like Anna, I have also participated in undergraduate research in um, the field of chemistry. It was with some battery science, focusing on greener alternatives to making electricity that is um, usable for cars and stuff like that. So um, it used basic physical principles that I learned from different physics classes. And I was able to get um, my hands into some of the research that would be making big changes in 
environmental uh, action and products, which was really exciting to do. Yeah, and I've also been involved uh, with research as an undergraduate. So I've been working in this field called gravitational wave astronomy, which is an entirely new way of doing astronomy that doesn't use telescopes, but rather uses what are called gravitational waves uh, to see things like black holes colliding, which you couldn't see with a traditional telescope. And so if you're like me and you wanna continue doing physics, uh, once you graduate, you can go to graduate school and get a master's or a PhD in physics and continue conducting research within physics. And getting a PhD is uh, totally free. And so um, if you want to continue doing physics, you can stay on the PhD track and ultimately uh, become a professor. Or once you get a PhD, you can then go and uh, obtain any uh, other number of jobs that use analytical skills. For more information on what these SPS panelists have told us, go ahead and visit the American Physical Society at APS.org. And thank you for coming to our presentation on why physics. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to any of us at sps-execboard at umich.edu.